In these dire financial times, government must identify what works and what doesn't, even when it comes to sex education for our kids. Many lawmakers insist that when it comes to sex education, abstinence is the only way to go. We've seen a troubling 16 to 1 funding disparity between contraceptive centered education and sexual risk avoidance education. Which is why despite these dire financial times, Congress is still pumping millions into abstinence only education. Republicans sneaked funding into the Affordable Care Act, 50 million dollars a year through 2014. And they pushed through $5 million to preach abstinence in the 2012 budget. So how does the average taxpayer feel about this? Trying to get them to do something that they want to, not to do something they want to do is a waste of time and counterproductive and it's not going to work. I would think that should they spend more money about sex education and not because uh, abstinence is, I don't think, is the solution. I think it needs to be balanced. I think, you know, all of the funding shouldn't be based on one uh, way of tackling an uh, issue. But does this approach to teaching youth about sex really work? When it's forbidden, you have to taste it, you know? <laughs> Kids are funny, you know, the way, when you tell them not to do something, they do the complete opposite. Study after study shows that abstinence, as opposed to comprehensive sex education, is not effective and, in fact, harmful. The U.S. has the highest teen birth rate of any comparable country, almost twice as high as the U.K., which is the highest in Western Europe. These types of programs have also come under fire for the questionable things they teach. So they have some great advice, like um, you have to not invite lust, so you have to be careful with what you wear, like you mentioned, um, because the girl will be thinking fashion and the boy will be thinking sex. For critics, this approach is a step away from science and a step back in time. They should teach them how to have safe sex. They're going to have sex anyway. It's natural. Everybody does it. Animals and bees, humans and everybody. You're going to go against like all of human history and, and think that, oh, finally we're going to get people to stop having sex. Back in 2010, President Obama got rid of a huge chunk of funding for programs that support abstinence-only education. But Republicans have fought to put it back on the agenda. And issues like gay marriage and contraception, the debate over issues like that rages on today. All signs that social issues will play a significant role in the upcoming presidential election. And the question remains, does the government have a place in spending millions of dollars to push what they believe to be moral? In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.